Hi everyone, so in this video we will talk about string interpolation, how it actually works in ES6. It is basically used with the template literals and uh, you can use variables directly inside a string. Let's see how it actually works. First we'll see an example of ES5, then we'll convert that example into a ES6 with the help of string interpolation and template literals. So there will be a variable age, it will be 50. Now we need a message. And it will be Peter's ages plus this age. Now let's make use of console log and get the output. Save it, and this is the output. Now let's convert this example into ES6 with the help of template literal and string interpolation. We need a backtick here and here. We don't need this part. For string interpolation, we'll make use of these angular brackets and a dollar sign. Now we'll get the value of this age here and we'll get this output. Just for the change, make it 80 and you'll see this output. You can also perform calculations inside this angular bracket. So if I'll make it age plus 20, I'll get 100. You can also use function calls. Let's create a function here. So it will be get age. It will return make it 120. So let's call this function inside this angular bracket and we'll get Peter's age is 120. So if you are into a DOM manipulation work, you can also create templates using string interpolation and template literals. Let's see an example. So we need a template and the template will be like this. We need h1 element and we need some string here. Let's use same string meters ages and we'll have a variable here age. Let's get a variable on the top. So make it age equal to 70. So you got variable, we got template, we are using string interpolation, we are using template literal. Now it's time to add this template to the DOM. For this, we'll make use of query selector and we'll select the body. Then there's a property in our HTML, it will be equal to template, and this will be our output. Just for the change, you can make it 90 to see the difference if it's working or not. Let's go with a little complex example, create this and create a list of fruits. So fruit will be apple, orange, mango and watermelon. Now we need a fruit list. So there is a map function for every array. And we'll create a template here. So for the list we need li element with a fruit name. So this will be a string interpolation. We need to close the li tag. Great job. Now we need a template. As you know, there is always a parent element which is ul for the list or ol. In this case, we'll make use of ul and we'll make use of string interpolation again here to get that list. Now we'll select the DOM. will set it equal to template. Now let's see the output. So we are getting this comma here. Why we are getting this comma? Because we are simply returning the array here. 
we need to join that array with some new line or some other character for this we'll make use of join method here and we'll join it by new line now save it and that's your output i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day